We're ready to drill a hole in the boat here. We've taped off, we've measured twice, three times to make sure we're absolutely where we want to be. I made a mark here to go ahead and establish where I'm at. Once again, I've double checked this. I know on the back side, I'm clear. There's no obstructions. I've got easy access to my front one too. So right now, I like to do a real quick pilot drill first, and then I'll chase it with a 9 16 from my CUDA. Uh, so I'm just gonna run my bid in reverse, come up here. I'd already started the hole, so it made it a little fast. So now I'll go ahead and set to my 9 16 bit. You can get these at Lowe's or Home Depot or anything. Tighten her up. I'll go ahead and run to high speed. Medium pressure. And we are through. Just like that. Now, last but not least, we've got to go ahead and clean this thing up. We're going to clean it up with we call a stone here. And I want to show you this real quick on the camera. This is a stone that you can buy at, say, uh, Ace or a Lowe's or something. It's just a round stone. You can get a triangulated one too. It looks like a pyramid. And it's how we kind of, we break the gel coat edge so we don't have any sharp edges to propagate fractures there. So it's very simple. I'll just come in. I can do it with the tape on there. I'll check it later on. Bear down. I want to make sure I put down, I push down it fairly hard, and I'll go ahead and pull the tape back here and double check it here, just to make sure we're good. I like a little bit more on that, so I'm gonna put a nice chamfer there. Wobble around, and I've got my 916 hole ready to go for that particular uh, installation pad.